the Rock Elemental. First introduced with the Scorched Earth DLC and more commonly referred to as the Rock Golem. Once upon a time it was mostly utilised by the PvP community as a great way to defend bases. Their turret mode means they can act as sanctuaries, placing them down just outside the base walls to defend an area from wild dinos or from non-allied players. They serve to keep most things at bay. Their ability to conceal themselves and hide their presence may make a base seem less defended at first glance from a PvP's perspective. The island and the aberration maps are the only two official maps these creatures don't appear. In Genesis Part 1 and 2 they came with a reskin as both the Iced and Lava Golem variants. They are identical to the elementals in every way except from their appearances and they can be tamed in the same way I'm going to show you. These are the complete guides to Ark's creatures and everything you need to know about taming them and their uses. And we continue with the Rock Elemental. Today we're going to break the game with a wonderful trap allowing you to tame your rock golem very easy. I have a method directly from everyone's favourite British tea drinking exploit specialist, Tribrate yeah. Romeo. Before we skip ahead testing different traps and I show you Romeo's new definitive way, let's start with some basics. Rock elementals are one of four creatures that can only be knocked out by striking at certain parts of their body with blunt or explosive projectiles, others being the Titanosaur, the Coconis and the Astrocetus. The sulphur, clay and stone, an extraordinary kibble is their preferred taming food. When it comes to using them to gather stone and sand, there are much better alternatives available. This is largely due to them not taking any weight reduction from stone or sand and their very slow running speeds. Just like the Giga is exempt from boss arenas, so too is the Rock Golem. And they can't be bred, so what you see is what you get in terms of stats. A rock golem takes a 50% reduction in damage from creature attacks and this effect stacks with its saddle armor and a rock elemental is immune to all breath attacks from a wyvern. While some of the crystal wyvern's breath attacks have some effect, it's still unwise going up against a rock golem on the back of a wyvern. However, it's not immune to the status effect Nash. Being that a rock elemental can bleed for some strange reason as of this video, it can be shredded by a Giga in seconds. A well-leveled Phylocolio is enough to dispose of the rubble golems in the Scorched Caves and the rock elementals as well if you're careful. So these creatures have definitely suffered as a result of Wildcard's update and the role of the base defender has been somewhat diminished when it comes to PvP and base defense. The Ravager, Allosaurus and Megalodon all dish out this Nash debuff with some sort of modifier so combat with these creatures may spoil your day. I know you're all picturing a rock golem fighting a megalodon now, and as it happens, the rock golem has no oxygen bar, but it does sink to the bottom of the ocean, and a megalodon, I'm sure, will make short work of it with that new debuff. I couldn't leave this question unanswered, so I stopped my edit to send Tribe Mate Vexing Cat to the bottom of the ocean on the back of a rock elemental. I wanted to discover how quick it would take a megalodon to shred a rock golem. And as it turns out, they weren't that interested. We tested this theory further by sending Vexing Cat into the most dangerous cave on the island map. She did run out of stamina down there, but the only things that were interested in the rock golem itself were piranhas and lobsters. When she did dismount the rock golem to try and regain stamina, however, the sharks did aggro on her. But as soon as she gets back on the mount and walks away, the sharks soon lose interest. There's probably something in all of this that can be exploited later perhaps, but I digress. Now that you know all this, what do you want one of them for? But just like I showed in the previous video using the Giga, and a shameless plug if you haven't already seen a complete guide to the Giga, a rock elemental can act as one of the defenders when it comes to clearing out wyvern trenches. They don't take damage from the breath attacks, and with the Halloween event going on right now, we might need some of them. The Rock Golem saddle is learned at level 70. And the old way of going out with a tribe mate and trying to tame one as your tribe mate holds aggro is still possible. The key to this method is making sure you go out of render distance while your tribe mate holds aggro. This method is best used on an Argent Tavis and using the X key on PC will slow your bird to a hover and stand still. The aggro distance has been changed and reduced so it's a little tricky to stay high enough out of striking distance. So it may take you a few passes just to get the bird high enough. 
then it's a case of slowly judging distance and taking fire with the cannon. Hold up, James. You said you would show an exploit at the beginning of this video from some British tea drinking dude who's not you. And we will. But first, let's show the testing done from jumping from an Argent using the parachute. So I briefly mentioned at the start of this video about being able to jump from the Argentavis using a parachute and the rock golem holding aggro on the Argentavis itself. Myself and tribe mate Vex have been testing this method repeatedly, making sure the Argies were on passive so they didn't follow us down to the ground, and it doesn't work. The rock golems clearly lock aggro as soon as a player dismounts and does not hold aggro on the bird. So this method has been patched for a long time. The final thing I'm going to add before sharing the definitive method for taming rock golems solo is the taming effectiveness. Being that a rock golem can take splash damage from a cannon and even more from a rocket launcher during a tame, I was surprised that tribe mate Romeo's trap is not only easy to construct, the rock golems take no damage at all in all of the testing we did. The trap itself consists of one metal foundation and six metal double door frames. When facing the rock golem, simply place the trap while it's in its rock form. Then fly over the trap so it locks aggro and try and land at the back of the trap. It's better to place the cannon after you have the golem aggroed on the structure itself and it's easier to judge the distance. The rock golem can't throw rocks over the trap and you can get quite close and take your time when it comes to placing the cannon. After a couple of misfires, you should find a ribbon for it and when the creature grabs its head, you'll know if you've done it correctly. It's advised that you take some metal ingots and cementing paste to repair your trap should you hit it with the cannon. Rock golems can't damage metal structures but are among the few that can damage stone. So if your server allows you to pick up structures as my community server does, you will need to repair the damage to the metal structures to retrieve them and pick up your trap. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Six metal double door frames and one metal foundation. The cannon and the ammunition. Big thank you to tribe mate Romeo for teaching us all this new method and it's now my definitive method. And if you're out on scorched earth looking for the elusive Dodo Wyvern, why not pick yourself up a sacrificial army of rock elementals? Might be a good idea this time of year. As always, a huge thank you to all my patrons and a massive thank you to all the great comments you gave on the last video for future episodes on what creatures you'd like to see me cover soon. Loads of great ideas to choose from, but until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you. Save is on its way. Oh,